Welcome to American Patriot News. I'm Romeo. So I have a story for you tonight. Let me pull this uh, up. GOP Senator Johnson and Grassley press Durham on uncooperative FBI officials. Congress requires additional information with respect to this refusal to cooperate and how ultimately how it ultimately concluded, the pair wrote. All right, let's take a look here. Republican Senator Ron Johnson and Chuck Grassley of Iowa on Tuesday pressed special counsel, counsel Durham on his efforts to secure information from key FBI officials and relevant persons who declined to be interviewed during the, his investigation. So Durham recently published his findings after a years-long investigation into the origins of the Trump-Russia collusion hoax that determined the FBI began its investigation into the 2016 Trump campaign with no predicating evidence and revealed that key intelligence officials were aware of the Clinton campaign's plan to fabricate links between Moscow and the former president's campaign before the election even occurred. We noticed that several high-level former government officials directly involved in Crossfire Hurricane either declined or partially declined to cooperate with your investigation, the pair wrote to Durham following the release of his final report. Among those individuals were former FBI Director James Comey, former Deputy Director Andy McCabe, former Assistant Director Bill Priestap, former Agent Peter Strzok, and former FBI Attorney Kevin Kleinsmith and Fusion GPS's Gwen Simpson. Why isn't that a surprise to me that those guys didn't want to go on the record? Congress requires additional information with respect to this refusal to cooperate and how it ultimately concluded, the pair wrote. It seems odd that individuals would be allowed to avoid fully cooperating with your office, particularly given your authority to compel testimony and records. They further contrasted former special counsel Robert Mueller's issuing more than 2,800 subpoenas during his investigation with the 190 that Durham issued. The lawmakers asked Durham to state whether he issued any of those individuals a subpoena and, if not, to explain why. They also asked him to provide details on his statement that some personnel in the counterintelligence division of the FBI refused to cooperate and the bureau leadership intervened to urge them to do so. Grassley and Johnson also asked him to identify those who refused to cooperate and those who ultimately relented. Um, that's the end of the story, and boy, how interesting that is. So were the key players in this, you know, 51 and in Intel um, specialists who said that there was nothing to the Hunter Biden laptop, laptop, you know, were they asked to give, to sign the document, to give their opinion? I'd sure like to know. So we'll leave this there for that, for, for the time being, and we'll see what happens down the road. If you would, please give a like to this video and make a comment, even a short comment, um, it helps the algorithm send it out to more and more people. Would appreciate that greatly. Have a wonderful rest of your evening.